What is the most essential resource to life on Earth? Well, it's water. Both plants and animals require water to survive. Water is the most abundant compound on Earth's surface, covering 70% of the planet. In nature, water exists in three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. So what properties of water make it so unique? Water, or H2O, is composed of one oxygen atom covalently bonded to two hydrogen atoms. Water is a polar molecule, meaning the electrons are shared unequally between the atoms. It's like a tug of war with electrons between hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen hogs the electrons to create a partial negative and then a partial positive charge. This is how we show partial positives and partial negative charges. Partial charges allow water to have many unique properties. Partial charges allow water to form hydrogen bonds. These are bonds between multiple water molecules. The partial negative charges on the oxygens will bond with the partial positive charges on the hydrogens, forming these hydrogen bonds. These bonds allow water to have many unique properties. First, ions can easily dissolve in water. The polar water molecules can pull apart the ionic solids. Second, ice floats. Hydrogen bonds hold water molecules further apart in the solid, making it less dense, therefore floating. Third, water has a high boiling point. This is because the hydrogen bonds hold molecules together more tightly. Fourth, water has both cohesive and adhesive properties. Cohesion is when molecules stay close together, like when water forms dewdrops. The molecules stay close together to form the droplets. Adhesion is when molecules are attracted to other surfaces. like when water is attracted to glass, a glass surface, forming a meniscus. The meniscus is formed when the water is attracted to the outside of the glass container, like in a graduated cylinder. What about these properties makes water so important for plant and animal life? All life needs a fluid medium for transportation of vitamins and nutrients, and on Earth, that medium is water. For animals, all chemical reactions in the body take place in water, and all nutrients are broken down by saliva, which is mostly water. So in order to get our vitamins and nutrients, these have to be broken down by saliva. Yum. For plants, transportation of nutrients is done by capillary action. The adhesive forces draw water up the xylem, while the cohesive forces Hold the water together in a column. It's like drinking water through a straw. This is how nutrients are delivered to the plant for energy, and so the plant can grow, eventually creating a fruit. 